Welcome heroes, legends, and warriors of Sanctuary. My name is Omni Flash, and I am your guide to Diablo Immortal. Today, we have something incredibly exciting to talk about. This is the time for you to use all your red balls. And by red balls, I mean Terror Essence. Those powerful game-changing orbs that just happen to be red. Why now, you ask? Well, right now, we have the Double Drop Goblin Buff Active. And you're going to get twice as many Eternal Legendaries. And that's right, twice the loot twice the excitement let me show you sometimes you stumble upon the magnificent goblin oblivion pillar this bad boy dropped me four eternal legendaries with eternal gear modifiers in a single run today's video is all about the loot haul from 42 oblivion pillars using 42 terror essence these runs took about an hour and a half but trust me, the loot was absolutely worth it. By the end of this video, you'll know whether to use your Terror Essence for the ultimate loot spree or sell them for 400 plat each. Think of your Terror Essence as blue sapphires. Sure, you can trade them for shiny secondary gems that adds permanent armor penetration, but do you want that? Or do you want eternal gear that turns you into an absolute beast in PvP Battlegrounds for three glorious weeks. Why three weeks? Because in about three weeks, the new gear you get will probably be even better. And all of the eternal suffixes isn't going to be better than just pure stats. And you'll be ready to upgrade again. So what I found was about one out of every six Oblivion Pillars, about one every six of them, I'd get a Legendary. But during this double event, you get two Legendaries, making it kind of worth it. Now, if I did this without the double Legendary drop rate, it would be a lot worse. At the end of this video, uh, out of 42 Pillars, I get 20 Legendaries. So... If you did 42 pillars and on regular drop rate, you're only going to get about 10 legendaries out of 42 terror essence. So it is that, that that's what it is. I mean, it's like uh, normally every four runs you get one legendary. Okay, that's that's normal runs. But with this double drop rate, it's kind of worth it. It is super worth it. Right now, you should be running your terror essence right now. Um, I feel like it's super worth running now uh, for a normal times at 400 plat each. I'm not so certain because you could be, like I said, 400 plat is at least one sapphire and that is permanent stats that will last for you forever. So, I mean, if you do not, if you do not, if you're not super into PVP, Maybe you should just go in and sell your Terror Essence to somebody in your clan that does PvP all the time. And that needs the Terror Essence for their PvP gear. So, I mean, for people who are not all the, all the way into PvP, it's probably worth selling those Terror Essence and getting Sapphires. Sapphires is something that you're going to be using forever. And you'll never lose it. These Terror Essence... They're not forever. Sapphires are forever. Now I'm not going to run. I'm not going to fast forward through all 42 runs. I am going to go ahead and just go ahead and show you what I get from all 42 runs. And that would be these 20 legendaries right here. Oh, before that, this is the chart that you can use to tell what all these skills will actually, when you class change, they will turn into the corresponding skill for the other class. So use this. All right, let's take a look at the, at the different ones I have. I have Fury's Charge. Fury's Charge is really nice. If you have a Fury's Charge build uh, for Barbarian, that's really nice. I do have 20 of these, and we'll take a look at all of them. Now, the thing about it, you see how this is Fortitude and Willpower? It's actually not bad. Now... You may have a triple piece of gear, but I do like 
I do like this piece of gear. It is fortitude and willpower, very strong for PvP. Also, it has Wrath of Berserker. So when if you have a build with Wrath of Berserker, there are a lot of Ber uh, barbarian builds with Wrath of Berserker, and it will cause explosions and deal damage when you have it on. So I mean, these are so very nice for PvP, and we can calculate the cost right now. You have 42 times 400 plat. That's about 16,800 plat. 16,800 plat right now during the double event will get you 20 of these very nice legendaries. Regularly, it's only going to get you about 10. I feel like 20 is a pretty good deal for 16,000 plat. Is 16,000 plat a good deal for only 10? I'm not sure. Not sure. It would probably it will probably take 80, 80 of these terror essence in order to get 20 later on without this double uh, double event. 32k plat for 20 legendaries that will be obsolete in three weeks. It's something you have to justify, okay? But right now, during this event. I highly recommend you to go ahead and run these uh, Red Terror Essence because it's worth it right now because you get twice as many legendaries. It's really, really good. Now, I, I mean, I have everything. I mean, I got the Sprint Modifier. I got Furious Charge. I've got Whirlwind Gets Bigger. There's just so many really nice pieces of gear that I get. And I would be able to mix and match with 20 of them. I would be able to mix and match and make... The perfect set for any build that I want. 20 of these legendaries gives you the freedom to put in two or three modifiers into your build. So yeah, this is this is absolutely awesome. I do highly recommend you to go ahead and run your red balls. Run these terror essence. Do those oblivion pillars. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Be sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, questions below. Let me know how you feel about using these oblivion pillars i do think they need to be buffed because without the double x bonus it's it doesn't feel that great 10 out of 40 won't be it's not recommended i just i don't like i don't like it as much but if it was always 20 uh 20 legendaries out of 40 runs then it's not that bad but it just doesn't feel very good if this bonus wasn't up what do you think also, after you do your Terror Essence, do your runs, do your Hellslayer Bounties, comment below. Let me know. I mean, maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe I should be doing Hellslayer Bounties. Is Hellslayer's Bounties better for you uh, instead of Oblivion Pillars? What do you think? I mean, I feel like Oblivion Pillars and Hellslayer Bounties are about the same. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.